SpaceX's Starship program represents one of the most ambitious efforts in modern aerospace history. Designed for full reusability, massive payload capacity, and deep space travel, Starship is central to Elon Musk's vision for a multiplanetary future. From Mars colonization plans to lunar missions with NASA, the platform is expected to radically transform access to space. But before any of that becomes reality, the system must survive a brutal testing phase. And that means pushing prototypes to the edge, and often beyond. In early 2021, one of these tests delivered both progress and a dramatic failure. Starship SN9 launched into the Texas sky, flipped, descended, and ultimately exploded on landing. The event looked like yet another routine crash. But as post-flight data emerged, something less routine appeared beneath the surface. What exactly went wrong? What does the data reveal? And why are some observers saying something weird happened with Starship Flight 9? In this video, we'll unpack the official findings, technical clues, and strange details that SpaceX engineers are still studying. But before we go further, make sure to subscribe if you want more breakdowns of critical moments in the space industry. Starship SN9 was the second full-scale high-altitude prototype to fly. Like SN8 before it, the mission aimed to climb to around 10 kilometers, demonstrate aerodynamic re-entry with body flaps, and execute a controlled engine reignition and landing flip. The flight launched from Boca Chica, Texas on February 2nd, 2021, and progressed nominally through most phases. The ascent was smooth. The flip maneuver, transitioning the rocket from horizontal to vertical, was successful. But the final act, reigniting engines to land, failed spectacularly. As SN9 approached the landing pad, it attempted to reignite two Raptor engines. Only one succeeded. The vehicle, now underpowered and tilted, crashed hard into the concrete. The explosion was immediate and violent. From the outside, it looked like a simple case of an engine-out scenario, something that could happen during early-stage tests. But the deeper post-flight data added new layers to this event. SpaceX engineers had access to an unusually complete dataset. All telemetry was received down to the moment of impact. That means every system, from engine sensors and tank pressures to control surfaces and flap actuation, was logged and monitored in real time. Video recordings from SpaceX cameras, as well as independent observers, provided additional visual evidence. And this combination of video and telemetry confirmed a singular, consistent fact. One of the Raptor engines simply didn't relight. According to the official SpaceX statement, SN9 failed its landing due to a single Raptor engine not igniting during the flip maneuver. Elon Musk later acknowledged that it was an error not to ignite all three engines and throttle down one if unnecessary. By attempting to light only two, the system had no margin for error. With one engine out, the remaining thrust was not enough to decelerate or reorient the vehicle in time. FAA regulators, who oversee all experimental flights from U.S. soil, closed the case by approving SpaceX's analysis and corrective actions. They found no violations and accepted the internal conclusion that the engine out was the sole cause. In essence, the narrative was simple. One engine didn't light. The rocket crashed. End of story. But the story didn't quite end there. Observers reviewing high-speed video noticed a few subtle irregularities. The failed engine did not produce a stabilized plume at all. It never transitioned into full ignition. This matches the official account. However, in the brief moments before shutdown, some viewers reported minor visual anomalies. Variations in flame color, unusual exhaust brightness, and sudden transitions in the shutdown sequence. Nothing dramatic but still enough to raise questions. In SN8's case, the green tint in the flame was attributed to copper alloy combustion caused by fuel starvation. With SN9, no such discoloration appeared. This suggests the engine never reached ignition temperature, supporting the theory of a failed start. But while the flame behavior was explainable, some still pointed to a brief flare and change in exhaust that felt inconsistent. To be clear, 
none of this visual data contradicts the official cause. However, it introduces the possibility that the ignition failure was more complex than it initially seemed. So why might an advanced engine like Raptor fail to start during a critical burn? There are several plausible explanations, all grounded in engine physics and flight dynamics. The first is propellant feed issues. Raptors need precise flows of liquid methane and oxygen. If vapor bubbles or cavitation entered the fuel lines, ignition could stall. SN8 previously failed due to low methane header tank pressure, starving the engine. While SN9 reportedly transitioned to its header tank successfully, even minor pressure imbalances could cause a misfire. Another candidate is ignition system malfunction. Raptor engines rely on ignition triggers like TEA, TEB, or electric sparks. If the igniter failed due to electrical issues, clogged lines, or misfired charges, the engine would simply fail to start. Since the other engine lit correctly, this suggests the issue was isolated to a single engine, possibly a hardware fault or a bad igniter component. A less likely but possible explanation is a controller error. If the flight computer failed to command ignition at the right moment or misread sensor input, it could result in a skipped start sequence. But SpaceX has found no evidence of such a glitch. The control system operated normally throughout the flight, and telemetry showed no unexpected behavior before the crash. There's also the potential for mechanical failure, such as a turbo pump seizure, bearing failure, or valve malfunction. These types of internal engine issues could prevent propellant delivery or ignition sequencing. However, without public access to detailed engine logs, this remains speculative. Interestingly, Elon Musk mentioned a key limitation in Starship's design. Raptor engines have a minimum throttle point. Running too many engines at low throttle increases the risk of flameout. That's why SpaceX limited SN9's landing burn to two engines instead of three, but this also reduced redundancy. If even one engine failed, the vehicle had no chance of recovery. This design choice, while understandable for test efficiency, created a narrow performance margin. The broader community floated additional theories, some more credible than others. Suggestions ranged from tank pressurization glitches and fuel vapor bubbles to structural valve issues or software faults. Others speculated about sensor misreads or hardware fatigue. Yet none of these ideas offered concrete evidence or contradicted the core conclusion. One engine did not ignite. Comparing public observations to official findings, everything aligns. No unexplained signals, no unlogged anomalies. SpaceX confirmed telemetry remained intact throughout descent. That means no communication dropouts, no hidden system failures. The only unusual element was the missing engine relight, and that, according to all data, was the full story. Still, the SN9 event holds deeper significance for the Starship program. It underscored a fundamental challenge. Landing such a massive rocket with minimal engine redundancy is inherently risky. A single failure, no matter how minor, can end in total vehicle loss. It also highlighted the importance of ignition reliability under dynamic conditions, especially during critical maneuvers like the landing flip. Engineers now have access to rich data from SN9's flight. Pressures, temperatures, timing sequences, and structural loads. All of this feeds into the iterative design process that SpaceX uses to refine Starship. While the crash was dramatic, it wasn't unexpected. In fact, it provided exactly the kind of real-world data needed to fix weak points in the system. Going forward, SpaceX may adjust its landing strategy. Igniting all three engines and throttling down the extras provides more margin, though at the cost of increased complexity. Improving ignition reliability both hardware and software, will also be essential. Future flights will likely test new sequences and pressure control systems to avoid repeat failures. Ultimately, the SN9 explosion wasn't a mystery, but it was a turning point. It revealed the fine line between success and failure in high-stakes rocket development, and it showed that even when everything works as planned, one misfire can change the outcome completely. As the Starship program advances, 
Each failed flight becomes another data point, another step toward reliability. But with every anomaly, even the small ones, the engineers at SpaceX learn more about what it takes to land a skyscraper from space. What SN9 proved is simple. Landing isn't the hard part. Landing reliably every time is. And solving that problem may define whether Starship reaches orbit, the Moon, and eventually Mars. Thanks for watching.